do do little kitty kitty cat. Okay. Hope everyone is enjoying a wonderful day. Me and 13 are just hanging out. <laughs> and uh, just coming on here to give you an oracle reading, a wounds to wisdom oracle reading for the day. Um, this was actually a reading that I did right before I left uh, to America for my 50th. And I want to share it with all of you because it was so poignant. And I feel like, well, it's just been such powerful medicine for me that I want to share it with you, <laughs> right? Because every time that I pull a card for me, it ends up being for others. And when I pull a card for someone else, it's for me as well. And I'm realizing that it's this co-creative energy. I've done a lot of readings this last week and every single reading was like, is this for you or me? Or is it for both of us? And the answer is both. And I love that. I love my work. I love, love, love what I do. And, you know, so right now where I am at is one door closing and another door opening. You know, when I passed the priestess torch, it was a big door closing for me and I was sad, but now I am happy because the Oracle door has, wow, opened wide more than ever before. I mean, before it was like, just like a little side thing I did. And now I'm just really loving it so much, pulling cards every day for myself, for others, doing lots of readings. And so um, it's exciting. And I've got one of my favorite decks here. I have lots of favorites, but um, I think you're going to love it. I think you're going to love it. So get ready for some Oracle magic. 13's like, what you doing, mama? What you doing your magic over there? She loves to sit there and look through the window. She's so cute. Hmm, she's my little, little sweetheart. Okay, so what we have here is the thief of peace. And this is from a witch, a woman in total control of herself, by the way. That's what witch stands for, woman in total control of herself. I love these cards. They're fantastic. So I'm going to read the card and then we're going to talk about it. Okay. Moments of anxiety, stress, and overwhelm are part of life, but we don't have to make them worse by asking, what's wrong with me, right? How many times do we do that? What's wrong with me? Nothing is wrong with you. Nothing is wrong with me. We need to switch. I love how she puts a little S and then W-I-T-C-H. That question to what happened to me? Any unsupportive, unloving reactions you have toward yourself in times of stress is a direct result of trauma. <laughs> the witch wound. <laughs> Your job is to bring awareness to your lovable, lovableness in any given situation so that you can encourage your sweet self and give the support your psyche so desperately needs to navigate challenging times. Treating ourselves with doubt or worry only creates more stress. Thief of peace. Your heavy thoughts are not your responsibility. Thoughts happen. They fly in on their own wings of their own accord. Your responsibility is what you do with them. When you worry, focusing on what's wrong with the sense of fear, lack, or incapability, you are adding heavy boulders onto an already overtaxed psyche. Think of all the situations where you succeeded, accomplished, or surprised yourself. Mm. Mm. Just think about that for a moment. Breathe that in. 
<laughs> when did you feel like, oh, I did that right? Oh, oh, oh. Now let's just take a deep breath in and exhale. Oh, let's take that moment in. When you worry, focusing on what's wrong with a sense of fear, lack, or or incapability, you are adding head heavy boulders onto an already taxed psyche. I read that again on purpose because that's a really important thing to consider. Now, again, think of all the situations where you succeeded, accomplished, or surprised yourself. That same energy is available to you now, but only if you stop allowing those bolder thoughts to accumulate on your shoulders. A witch, a woman in total control of herself, watches her thoughts carefully. She knows she is living a life today that a younger version of herself could only marvel at. You'll do that again and with more and more grace once you let go of the heavy thoughts weighing you down and weighing down your possibilities and clouding your clarity. So I picked this card in particular to the energy of putting other people on a pedestal. I have that pattern. It is one of my wounds that I'm transforming into wisdom as we speak. And this card to me relates to that, to putting other people on a pedestal because that in itself can create that I am not worthy, I'm not good enough, that person is better, you know, they're up there, I'm down here. And I mean, how oftentimes do we do that? We meet someone that is totally incredible, right? That's okay. We can go, wow, that person is amazing. I admire that person. But as soon as we put them on a pedestal, that means that we're not on the pedestal, right? They're above us. So it creates an inequality, inequality and an unbalanced relationship, but, and, and, and it creates self-worth issues and it's not attainable because they're up there and you're down here. But the other issue is that they're going to fall off because if you put anybody on a pedestal, I will tell you, I'm 50 years old and I can't tell you how many times that I have put people on the pedestal and they've just fallen right off. And it's disappointing. It's disappointing. It's dysfunctional. It's not good for them. It's not good for you. And it's a thief of peace. And so, you know, I think this card is a really good, oh, where did it go? Uh, 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 there it goes. Like she's got this, all these shattered pieces and she's sitting on the pedestal and she's very sad. And even though she is sitting on the pedestal, there's all these really heavy thoughts around her. So it's also about not putting ourselves on that pedestal either. You know, it's important to value ourselves, but, you know, if we put ourselves on a pedestal, then again, we're being better than or higher than, uh, than someone else and <laughs> we can fall off. And so it's about creating that balance. Um, it's a good card. I pulled this card right before I left for my 50th and I've been thinking about it a lot. Um, I have a pedestal, <laughs> um, right next to my door. I've got two of them near my husband's. He had them before I even met him. So it's pretty cool that we have two pedestals and, you know, they're, they're cement, you know, pedestals, uh, that you put plants on and I've got a plant on one of them and the other one doesn't have anything on it. And it sits right by the door. And I've been meaning to put a plant there, but now it's like a medit a movement meditation that I do where I put the thoughts, the good thoughts that I want on the pedestal instead of me being on the pedestal or somebody else being on the pedestal. It's like, what do I want to focus on? You know, what positive things can I put on the pedestal? So I've made it a kind of like psychological kind of game. <laughs> about honoring myself and the positive thoughts that I have. And like, and then if they're not, if I'm not wanting to elevate those thoughts, then it's like cancel clear, 
I'm replacing those negative like boulders, right? Those heavy thoughts with the positive ones. Now, do I always get it right? No, but it is something that I'm practicing. And so it's become just one of those like kind of fun games that I've been playing with myself. And come spring, I will put a plant there. And But I'll probably still play the same game. I don't know. It's kind of fun. So what kind of games can you play to cancel clear the negative, stinking thinking, heavy boulders that can just weigh us down and replace them with thoughts that elevate you and bring you up? And um, yeah, so that's what I wanted to share with you today. Hope you're all having a fabulous day, full of love. It's so cold here in New Zealand today, but I did manage to get out and about, even though it's gloomy and rainy, And um, but it's winter. I mean, that's what you get. It's winter here. You're Some of you are probably having summer right now, so happy summer, happy spring, happy winter, and um, don't allow your thoughts or anyone else be a thief of peace. You get to choose. You get to be in charge and make sure to transform those wounds into your wisdom and your wisdom into your superpowers. Um, make sure you join me for my free masterclass. It's coming up soon. I'm so excited about it. Going to be teaching you about intuition, soul path purpose, transforming wounds into wisdom and wisdom into superpowers, and really transforming your 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 wounds into becoming your wonder woman to you know really being in charge changing your beliefs and uh listening to your internal gps your internal navigation system i'm so excited to share the four pillars of intuition to uh help you feel awakened on this spiritual journey feel aligned in your soul purpose and uh, transform anything that's holding you back so you can manifest your most abundant life, a life of your wildest dreams. So much love and so many blessings. Mwah.